so hello and welcome to vet study friends so today's video is going to be about something that you all have asked me that how can we achieve very good marks in our veterinary college exams that how can we top in these exams and what was my routine which i followed in the last five and a half years while i was in the college so without any delay let's start the video so i will start from the first year itself so um, what i used to do that uh, what the teacher dictates in the class i was uh, a fast writer so i would write every other details also which he which the teacher mentioned in addition to the notes that he was giving uh, suppose if he is uh, discussing about uh, physiology if if he is discussing the endocrine system in the physiology so he gives notes that we all write but additionally he also tells some key points which he doesn't uh, dictates like for the content but what i used to do i used to write that also in my notes so yes uh, that made my notes a little bulky but i was i always remembered that was the te- what the teacher was talking about what was the context of what he was saying and it would always help me while i was revising at the last time so before the exams that is in short i made the notes what teacher dictated and along with some extra notes which he told in between the class then uh, when i came home i used to match those things with the book yes i had a standard books for every subjects and what i used to do differently was that i uh, matched what teacher said and if any other thing any extra thing i found in those notes then i would simply add those in my notes so this would complete my notes as a whole and if any spelling mistake was there so it also got corrected and i would like to tell you all that it is very important that we write correct spellings because you know incorrect spellings cost us marks so i don't want any of you to commit that mistake and for that way one and only way is to check whatever you have written is right or not so these were the two things which i used to do that is making notes additional to what what teachers taught and then coming back at a hostel and then matching what he has taught checking my spelling mistakes if any and then adding something else which i thought was not present in the notes so that would complete the whole content of mine according to that subject and then what i used to do i would revise it gradually within one to two days or study it within one to two days and i use different uh, markers a uh, different pens whenever i revised so initially i did with it with pencil then yeah, i used to do it with black or blue pen and then i also used red pen green pen so these were you know my favorite colors so that i uh, was always aware that how many times i have revised my notes and this also helped me to focus important points which i would revise during the exams if i forgot and yes i had also a very good habit of writing things down i always learned uh, while i was writing uh, i i love to write so i uh, you know uh, there are some people who learn orally that they just read their notes and it encompasses in their mind but what i used to do was i read and then i wrote things so my spelling mistakes were minimal I did very less spelling mistakes because i always used to write the things up so this helped me a lot uh, in my preparation and also in subjects like parasitology where you have very different names to learn so i think uh, this technique will help you gain extra marks and what i did uh, extra was that in some subjects like uh, you see a uh, microbiology i made my own notes of all the bacteria of all the different uh, you know organisms that we are taught in microbiology i made all my different notes from the books only i made short notes of all of them so that you know i always revise them in time and yes i all i always managed to receive very good marks whether the question paper was tough or it was easy because i prepared everything whatever the teacher taught i prepared each and every topic i didn't left any topic because my aim was to score maximum marks not just to pass the examination and before examination what i did i started revising i started revising you know as we all know that in college exams you know we uh, generally start learning few days before so what i used to do that uh, 
one month before i started studying more thoroughly and then 15 days before i became very regular in revising things and then just uh, the day before exam because you know averagely we got one day break in our exam so i uh, ensured that i re i revised everything within that one day because it is very crucial because because revision is the key if you don't revise then you will forget everything and when i uh, revised everything the day before examination i also used to uh, take a thorough revision of all the notes which i have written on that day of examination i i am a early riser so i used to wake up early in the morning and i revised everything and i i made i ensured that it went before my eyes because it is very important uh, sometimes the question you read at the last is in the paper so these were some key points which helped me score good marks and consistency is one of the most important thing i must say because once you can top uh, once you can become a top it is easy but being a topper for all the four years is quite a task to maintain and i i am very glad that i was able to maintain that i was topper for the all the four years in my graduation program and this is exactly what i followed for all the subjects i would like to summarize i would always write down some extra bits which te which teacher provided along with the content the main content of the class secondly i would come home and match it with the standard textbooks checking any mistakes and adding anything extra which i got and thirdly i would always revise multiple times before examination and use different color markers or pens so that i was clear up that i have revised so many times you know it also gives us confidence and then during the time of examination i ensured that i studied everything because i believe that whatever i don't study it comes in the exam so i didn't left anything and yes pre uh, previous year question analysis is also very important we always took the papers from our seniors i am very thankful to my seniors for providing me those papers because many questions get repeated from that also so i always ensured that i uh, looked at all the objective papers or the subjective papers before the examination and uh, i ensured to uh, one revision before uh, going to the examination i was among those students who you know uh, i revised till the till i entered into the examination hall and i feel no shame in it uh, because it's it varies according to people and this suits to me that i i want to revise any, everything i want to you know uh, get a thorough look of everything before i go into the examination that made me confident and i think that was the reason that i consistent uh, consistently scored good marks in every subject i must say and that also made me the topper of my batch and of my college so i think that uh, this might be uh, this video might help you uh, for your future pro uh, prospects if you want to score good marks in veterinary and yes we know in subjective you have to write a lot and uh, always uh, you know when you uh, learn while writing then it also improves your writing skills because you know some of us are slow writers but if you will write continuously then it will improve your writing it will uh, you will commit less uh, spelling mistakes your writing will be improved your speed will, will also be improved so i recommend everyone to write and learn you know and uh, rest everything is discretionary you know whatever suits anyone so i hope this video helped you and if this video helped you then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and keep watching with stary and please don't forget to comment more topics which you want me to make so have a great day guys bye bye